So many people have been asking me how was the experience of being in Andrew Tully. Everyone, I don't know you people expect to hear what, but it's a basic school. It's a basic school. So let me just give you a story of how we went to Russia, just because of a history lesson. So you were having history, you were learning about, um, you were learning about, what is it called? World War One and World War Two. So what? So we were like, sure, we don't understand this. We really don't understand this. Yeah, we really cannot be studying like local people. That like we just have to cram everything. Yet we can go there and see what is happening. And it was like, yeah, you guys have a point. So we now had to call our parents to book our flights for the next day to go to Russia. Now the we were you we were told to ask for it was i think half a million it was I think half a million no i think it was more than half a million i can't remember those digits sorry i fo- i confused between five digits and six digits and seven digits it's a whole it's a whole thing yeah but sasa this is what happened so we call our parents we all wanted to book first class but sadly there are those very poor people peasants who like decided to go with business class i think most of them are their parents are MCAs, are my MPs, or even governors. I was shocked. How are you going to business class and this first class? But, you know, we still love them. We really support them as much as we can. Yeah, I give them my muffins sometimes. I give them my, you know, a bottle of juice when they need it. You know, you have to help these people. Okay, so after that, so we called, we booked flights. And the next day, we were woken up by our butlers, yeah? So the butlers, they come with like a small cabel. They ring it gently to wake you up, and then they come and pat you, pole pole. They're like, hi, good morning, Noel. Good morning. So that is how you used to be woken up. And uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. That was the best part of it. And after that, we just wake up with our pajamas. We go have our buffet breakfast. So that there was all types of food that you can think about. Thai food, Chinese, every kind of food. You know, because we are a whole international school so we had like m- my friends were like from different countries i never had the kenyan friends they are fake so after that we had our, our meals and then the butlers were making sure that our showers were hot enough for us i'm at the best temperature for us or else we can soothe them you know so we went took our showers they're just perfect temperature and they're, they're outside waiting with towels and then ready our our clothes were well ironed and ready so because our school is quite far from Jomo Kenyatta, we had to take a chopper to Jomo Kenyatta. We took the choppers easily and then we landed in Jomo Kenyatta where we were welcomed with traditional dancers. You know, we are people forget that we are Kenyans. We are, me mean I'm Kenya. Yeah, I'm Kenyan. So, but to see the culture, to see the Maasai jumping was amazing. I've never experienced that. I've just like been in Paris and I've been in the UK. So I haven't like seen a lot of Kenyans culture a lot of it so we were enjoying the dancing we even dancing with them and then we had to take the VIP entry we could not go through international departure it was just it was scary to see the amount of people that were there waiting online in the line so we, there we met someone called Ruto Ruto yeah I, I, I had his some, his someone in the government so he had to let us go first because we are more important. So he let us board our plane first. And then he tried to come and say hi to us. He he heard that you're from Andrichuli and he decided to come say hi. But due to security reasons, he could not be allowed to get inside the plane. So he just waved at us, uh, Apochini. So which one was kind of bizarre. I'm like, hey, yo, what are you doing? Hey. So, but it's okay, it's okay. We still waved back and closed the sheer very fast. And then so we took off, we landed in, in Russia. It was an amazing experience. It, let me just say to you, it was amazing. We met Putin. We were shown, you know, where the World War One and World War Two took place. It was, a ho- it was a whole vibe there. I don't know why you guys think Putin is bad. He's not. We had coffee with him. And after that, we had to come back because we had like a salsa classes. So we had to come back. Um, so we just came back. So basically, it was just a basic trip to just go study, see where I was, one took place. Uh, yeah. So it was, those, that, so that is one of the, one of the basic trips that we had.